Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, very good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. How was your day? It was good? It's good. Yes, teacher. I'm fine. Very Excellent. Good. Okay, let's get it started tonight with the first attendance. So please turn on your cameras for the first attendance. Okay, thank you. Okay, Alejandra, Vanessa, Mora. Not here yet. Anadelmi Herrera Morales. Not here. Ana Marisol Mendoza Pineda. No. Ángel Alexander Guardado. No. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Thank you, welcome. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Present teacher. Thank you for being on time. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Present. Good. Um, Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Yet. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Melissa Estrada. Not yet. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you.
somebody is eating something very crunchy or what? Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Not yet. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Mayra, oh, Mayra is there, okay. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. No. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Very good. Zenaida América Domínguez. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Very good. Silvia Enrique Cortés. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Thank you. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present. Perfect. Okay, people, thank you very much for being on time. Okay, so we're going to start tonight with today's lesson. We are a little bit behind, so we need to start quickly. If tonight's lesson and here. Okay. Tonight's objective is this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sylvia, could you read tonight's objective, please? Here. Okay. I will be able to tell someone how to do something by using imperatives. Okay, good. So at the end of this class, you will be able to tell someone, to tell another person how to do something. Okay, by using imperatives. Okay, tonight we are going to learn about imperatives, all right? Good. Now, we have a couple of questions here to start to discuss about a little bit. Let me read them first. Number one says, what is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product. Okay, think about that, please. What is the first thing you pay attention to when buying a product? And the second question is, what is the most important thing for you? So when you buy a product, what is the most important thing for you? Interesting questions. So what, what do you think? Okay, let me hear your opinions. For example, if you are going to buy uh, what? Uh, clothes. If you're going to buy clothes. What is the first thing you pay attention to? For me, teacher, uh, I think the first, I think about the, is, is necessary or the quality? Ah, okay. If, if the product is necessary and, and the, the quality. quality. Okay, what, what did you say, Olga? I, I couldn't hear. Yes, teacher, I 
I think about the vibe of the product is uh, for me is the quality in case of cloth is style. style. Right. Ah, okay. Okay, good. So quality. Okay, price, style. What else? Any other idea? The first thing you pay attention to. Basically, quality, price, style. Okay. And what is the most important for you? What is the most important for you? Let's do something. Write it in the chat. Write in the chat. What is the most important thing for you when you are going to buy something? The most important. Write in the chat. Let's see your opinions. Okay, Alejandro present. Good. Good evening, okay. Good evening. So write in the chat, please. I want to see your, your answers. What is the most important thing for you when you are buying something? Price and brand. Mm -hmm. Quality. Come on, write. Write your opinions. Ana Marisol says quality. Linda says quality. Carlos says price and brand. Johanna says appearance and warranty. Okay, what else? Quality, prices, brands. Okay, but the most important, if necessary, says quality. It has a good quality. Mm -hmm. Quality. Okay. And I don't know, Let you made me think about this. Uh, how can you tell that a product is good quality? How can you identify if a product is good quality? Now, ah, expiration date, says Carla. Expiration. Okay. For example, can... uh -huh. the, when you see the mark. Uh, you mean the brand? Brand is recognized. Uh, oh, if it's a recognized brand. Okay. What else? So how can you identify a quality product? Just by the brand? Hey, no more opinion. When the people, when the people talk about whatever product to oh, like uh, or recommend you. Ah, uh, okay. Recommendations. So it has good opinions. Okay. For me, for example, and I use uh, all these Samsung those. Mm -hmm. For ah. experience. Okay, so you go by the brand. Okay. Okay, very good. Interesting. So brands are an indicator of good quality. Okay, interesting. Very good. Now, Let's continue with this conversation, okay? Let's see this conversation and observe how they use it better. Ms. Nunez and Mr. Roland, okay? 
Let me read it for you and let me send the audio to WhatsApp. So in case you want to hear it again and again and again. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. And I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, there you go. One more time, listen. Okay, pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation as well. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Ms. Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, Grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me. All right. 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 Hello, hey, Miss. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Bottom. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Second, piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Make sure meet specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day 
about the defective pieces? Okay. Pieces. 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 Yes, pieces. Okay, very good. Now, I am Miss Nunez and you are Mr. Roland. Okay, I begin. You are Mr. Roland. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we, Where start? Do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specifications in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. <laughs> Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Very good. Now, you are Miss Nunez and I am Mr. Roland, okay? So you begin, <laughs> one, two, three. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? Okay, very good, very good. Any question with the conversation? Who are you, uh, Tom? Tom. Tongs. Yeah. Tongs or pinzas. Grab a pair of tongs. For the pins. Yeah. Yeah. Con bello. Conveyor? The conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is la, la cinta transportadora. <laughs> you are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Thank you. Okay. And um, the funnel? Funnel. Funnel is an embudo. this funnel. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to send you to work in pairs and you are going to practice the conversation, okay? Practice the pronunciation and practice the conversation several times, many times. Then there are three questions here about the conversation, okay? Uh, question number one says, uh, who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt? Number two, what are some of Mr. Rowland's responsibilities? 
And number three, what kind of machinery is there in your workplace? What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? Okay. So work together, respond the first two questions and respond number three about your work. Okay, is this clear? Yes, yes teacher. Very, very good. Okay, let me form the groups or the pairs. I'm gonna work in pairs, so. Um, nine groups and see you in what in 10 minutes okay practice the conversation and respond the questions see you in 10 minutes Hello? Teacher, no puede mandar la captura de la conversación en el WhatsApp porque yo no tengo el la guía, no la como no he salido no he podido imprimirla y estoy oh. en el teléfono. Okay. Okay, claro. <coughs> Ahorita. Ahí, ahí está. Ahí está ya en el WhatsApp. Finally, fill a, fill in a report at the, at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay. Okay. Me gusta intercambiamos después para practicar okay. eh, los dos. Okay. 
Okay. Si gusta, comience mm -hmm. usted, Claudia. Voy a hacer yo Mr. Roland, esta vez. Ok. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. Number three, what kind of machine is the same workplace? What kind of machinery is the engine for each workplace? Mm -hmm. What kind of machinery is there in the workplace? In my case, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero eh, grúa. Creo que se, se creo que se escribe como crank, crank, C R A N S, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Crank, crank, algo así. El, el lift, ajá, 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 el lift creo que es el montacarga, ajá, ajá, que también lo utilizan ahí donde yo trabajo. And in your case, is what king of machinery there in your workplace? What king of machinery is there in your workplace? Uh, the machinery, uh, uh, Angers is uh, industrial machine machinery for the production of chocolates. Industrial machinery mm -hmm. for the production of chocolate chocolates. For the product of chocolate. Mm -hmm. For the produc production okay. of chocolates. The mouse in the production line. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nunez. Where do we Boris, start? You are in charge of stopping the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure each meets the specification in this chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, Fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. Okay, perfect. Uh, entonces, bueno. Player of stones. Pick every piece of chocolate. And pick every piece of chocolate. Yes. And then read the pick pick every piece of chocolate. Finally, filling a report at the at, at the end of the day about the the effective pieces. Now I do first. 
Okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first date at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the product line. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you finish? Que no puede practicar porque está en su trabajo. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry here. Vamos a enviar another one. Vamos a enviar a alguien de los que van a llegar. Okay. Okay. Al menos un ratito. Okay. What kind of scenery is, is there in your workplace? ¿Qué es machinery? Maquinaria. Quiero ver. Okay, welcome back. Any volunteers to present the conversation? Volunteers, no volunteers? Me teacher. Uh -huh. Irma? Uh, who is responsible for stooping to convert your belts? Eh, la respuesta sería uh, eh, Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Uh -huh. Yes. Y what are some or my Roland responsibilities? Eh, for example, 
uh, grab a, a pile or stone um, and pick every piece of chocolate? Mm, can you repeat? <coughs> oh. uh, buy or stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Or pieces. No. Uh -huh. Okay, that could be one of his responsibilities. So, so. Is the third uh, working of machine is there in your workplace? This is in the lugar de trabajo de nosotros, verdad? Yes. Um, for example, me uh, computer in my workplace is computer, telephone, table, chair, etc. <laughs> um, well, machinery is is uh, maquinaria. Uh -huh. máquinas uh -huh. computer no. como nosotros como okay. nosotros es como nosotros es como yo trabajo en un restaurante entonces okay. sería como la cocina es como la máquina uh, de cocina okay could be uh -huh. machinery okay okay people so what are all other responsibilities of Mr. Roland who, who can mean tell me one Response, Mr. Roland's responsibilities. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Uh -huh. Of chocolate. Okay. What else? Check. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, stopping. <laughs> Convey your bell, check the price every price on, the table, on the table, mm. and that is one needs the mm -hmm. final parts. Okay, so these are his responsibility, no? Stopping the conveyor bell, uh, what? Make sure each piece of chocolate meets the specifications. Yeah, place the defective chocolate, fill in a report. Also, these are his responsibilities. But okay, let's take a look to these uh, words in bold case. Estas palabras en negrita, no? Veamos, push this red, uh, vemos, push this red button. Grab a pair of tongs. Pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart. Check every piece. Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Fill in a report. So these are instructions that Ms. Nunez is giving to Mr. Roland, right? Instructions, directions about the activities or that Mr. Roland must do. Okay, in all these sentences, in all these instructions, uh, they use the imperative, what we call the imperative. What is the imperative? Look uh, here, imperative. We use imperatives to give an order, to give instructions or to make invitations. So this is the form we use when you give an order, when you give instructions or when you invite people to do something. And if you observe imperatives, do not have a subject. In these sentences, for example, read this chart and check every piece. We don't have a subject. We don't say you, he, 
Oh, no. Imperatives don't need a subject. Here is another one. Unplug this cord and connect the blue one. So we have these verbs in imperative. Unplug, connect. Imperative forms. Okay. In the first one, we have read and check. Number two here, fill in a report about the defective pieces. We have fill in. This is the imperative form. And verify the oil level. Verify is imperative. So in sentences with imperative, we don't need a subject. Okay, and we use the verb in the base form. Somos el verbo en la forma básica. Okay, read, check, unplug, connect, fill in, verify. Any question with this? No, no questions here? Unplug. Unplug. Anybody knows what is the meaning of unplug? Desenchufar. ¿Cómo? Desenchufar. Desenchufar. Desenchufar, desconectar. Mm -hmm. Unplug. Discord. And connect the blue one. Okay, very good. Now, let me show you... Uh, something else about imperatives. Sit down. Uh, let me go here. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, let me share this with you. Okay, can you see this? Uses of imperatives. So here we have a little bit more. We can use imperatives to give orders. So yeah, lo mencionamos, no? We can use imperatives to give orders, to give instructions to give warnings, okay, advertencias, dar advertencias, give warnings. For example, don't sit on the bench, it's wet paint. Don't smoke, it's bad for your health. This is the negative form of imperatives, okay? Don't sit, don't smoke. This is the negative form for warnings, advertencias. We use imperatives to make an invitation. And we can use imperatives to give advice. Dar un, un consejo. Go home and get some help. For example. No. Go home and get some help. Get. You look exhausted. Or tell me about your trip in, to Ireland. And imperative is also in signs or on signs. En los rótulos, ¿verdad? Los mensajes que nos que interpretamos de los símbolos, de los rótulos, son esto, ¿no? Son imperatives. Push, pull, give way, stay on your right. Esos son imperatives. 
Ok, solo estas son como algo otros usos de los imperatives. Pero en todos los casos, como observan, the verb is in base form. El verbo está en su forma básica. Come here at once. Take that gum out of your mouth. Take one pill. Open your books. En la forma negativa. Don't sit. Don't smoke. Have some tea. Come in and sit down. Ok. El verbo en su forma básica. Sin sujeto. Punto. Any question with this? Ok. Very good. If you don't have questions, let me give you an activity to practice this. To practice this, okay? Uh, and it is on the next page. Okay, here. Let me erase. Okay, look at this exercise. Here in this exercise, you have to fill in the gaps with the imperative form of the verbs given on the right. Llene los espacios con la forma imperativa de los verbos que están acá a la derecha. No tienen que, aquí están en orden. Uno con uno, dos con dos. Solamente van a escribir la forma imperativa. Los que son negative, remember, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, como diríamos la, la primera que dice not to speak. Nos lo piden que pongamos el imperativo. Bueno, acá se Don't diría, speak. Don't speak. Correct. ¿Verdad? Don't speak so loud the baby is sleeping. Por ejemplo. Y los otros, simple. La forma básica, ¿no? Pass. Pass me the salt, please. Ok. To practice the imperatives. Les voy a copiar esto ahí en el WhatsApp para que lo hagan. Lo voy a mandar a trabajar en grupos. Y que completen estas 25 oraciones usando el imperativo. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. no. Ahí está en el WhatsApp el ejercicio para que puedan copiar las oraciones. And I will send you to working groups. Try the groups again. Teacher, la asistencia. Sí, ahí me está dando ya la alarma. Gracias. Bien, antes de entonces enviarlos, vamos a tomar la segunda asistencia. Y luego se van a trabajar. Ok, please, cameras on. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Delmi Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Very good. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present. Ok. Ángel, eh, tú tienes la sesión personal al final, ok. Carolina Yamile sí, sí. Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present. Perfect. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Uh, 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 Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Hilda. Present teacher. Ok, gracias. Present teacher. Gracias, gracias. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. 
Present teacher. Perfect. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Good. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Perfect. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Perfect. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Okay. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Teacher. Okay. Olga Marleni Gómez. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Senaida América Domínguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Silvia Enrique Cortés. Present. Good. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. And Carla Verónica Suria. Present. Perfect. Okay, so I will send you to working groups to complete that exercise. See you in what, around 10 minutes, okay? Take. Hey, take. Even night. Take. Press. 
If press, press follow. Follow. Tend, don't drink. Don't drink. Mm -hmm. Hello, people. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes, work together. That's good. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Anda y las familias de San Salvador han realizado inspecciones para identificar el problema y poder restablecer el servicio de agua, además de la reparación de la feria. Lo alcanzan a ver. Sí, lo alcanzamos a ver. Igual yo lo estoy notando aparte, ¿verdad? por cualquier cosa. Ah. The number three is don't step. Don't step. Don't step. Don't step number three. Number yeah. four, pay. Ah. Number four is. But number three is not negative. Why? Number three is not negative. Mm. Please, Please don't step aside. I can't see. Let's see the exercise. The exercise, el ejercicio les muestra cuando debe ser negativo. Es como el número uno. Número cinco. Número siete. Número cinco. Oh, ya lo dice acá. Ok. El número cinco es solo pay. Sí, o sea, dice el teacher que cuando es negativo, aquí ve. Respeto. No, sería. I repeat. No, repeat. 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 Ajá. Repeat. Repeat. Ajá. Astro me. La quinta. Ay, ay. De concentrarse. Sería. To gay. Y en la quince. La quince sería la quince, creo que sería go away. Go away. Eso, go away. Sí, es uno como compuesto, creo que lo llaman eso. 16. Don't, don't drive. Don't drive. Don't drive. Don't drive. 17 is. 17 is. Melt. No. Add. And add. Dijeron, don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. The, that's hot. Don't drink. That's coach. What is? You're going to try. No, Thomas. Ah, okay. Pero. That's hot, guys. Porque el drink Sería está... nombre propio Porque está con Ah Sería un nombre propio oh, Scotch is a kind of whiskey ¿Es? No, Tommy No le vas Whiskey Es Scotch ah, Sí, es un kind of Kind of whiskey Ah, mm -hmm. ok 
I said, don't ring, don't ring that coach. Mm -hmm. okay. Sí, ya. Tendría que hacer. No to speak. So, the baby is sleeping. This is the first one. My dad salt please, dice. My dad salt please. Yo entiendo que las que están no to forget, don't forget. Ahí solo don't forget. Ahí está el teacher, ya preguntémosle. Teacher, teacher en la número 5 es como es en, en negativo, ¿verdad? Es aren, isen, don't be. It's aren or not be, don't be. Yeah, don't be. Okay. Okay. Don't be so nasty. Mm -hmm. so, mm, yeah. Don't be. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Right. The number eight. Ah, oh, pero espérame, las cinco le faltan. Espere, le falta. otra vez.
Vale, vamos con la 4. Teacher. Yes. Hello. Yeah. You hear me? Teacher, I have a confused then. Uh huh. What is your confusion? In this case, teacher, we are to complete the sentence. Use give or write. What case? What 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 number? And all of them? No. Okay, no. teacher, we are to, to make the exercise for you give us in WhatsApp. Yeah, but so we're working on, on the okay. sentences, 25 okay. sentences, right? Okay, teacher, yes. And you have the verbs on the right. On the right, yes. So yeah. we are to complete with the verse on the right. Yes. Ah, okay. So just to pass them. In imperative. In imperative, okay. Okay. Did you do it that, that way? Yes, uh, yes, yes, teacher. But I don't, <laughs> I don't know that it's okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, and number four. Hello, people, did you finish? No, teacher. Hello. Hello, Senaida. Uh, uh, Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, uh, I cannot because, hear you. Uh, because uh, number number question. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't hear you. Tan concentrado, no me contesta. I'll finish. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're going to come back together and we're going to check your work, okay? See you. Okay, people, welcome back. Let's check your work, okay? Let's read the sentences. So, number one, let me ask to, well, one volunteer to read number one. One volunteer to read number one, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Uh, number two, for first is an example. Number two is pass me the salt, please. 
Okay, perfect, very good. Okay, Carlos, give me a number between one and 22. Uh, 15. 15 is Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, Michelangelo. Where is Miguel Angel? Miguel Angel. Yep. Can yeah, you read number, number three. three? Yes. Number three is Steve. Read the complete sentence, please. Please, Steve, as I, I can see through you. Okay, good, very good. We're going to practice later the pronunciation, but that, that's good, thank you. Give me a number, Miguel Angel, between one and 22. 11. 11 is Johanna, Johanna Beatriz. Number four. The teacher. Oh, number four. Pay to what your parents say. They give good advice. Yeah, ahí hay, ahí falta algo, ahí hay un error, perdón, no lo, no se los dije. Pay attention debe ser ahí, pay attention. Pero correct, okay, pay attention to what your parents say. They give good advice. Okay, thank you, Johanna. <coughs> give me a number, please, between one and 22. Four. Four. Angel, read number five, please. Yes, teacher. Okay. Excuse me, it's not the It's number five. Number five. Uh, it's not to get. Not to forget. No. That is six. It's number five. Okay. No, no, set it. You think it's a era? Okay, read number six, no problem. Your name is the doctor. Uh-huh. No. Not this year. Oh, okay. Give me a number from one to twenty-two. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen is Miguel Angel. Another one. Okay, let's use 16. Nelson. Nelson, can you read number five? What? Number five, please. Five. Okay. Don't be so nasty. Respect to other. Okay, very good. Give me a number between one and 22. Nine. Nine is uh, Irma. Yes, teacher. Number six, please. Yeah. Why were you near at the bottom? Right. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Give me a number between one and 22. 11. 11 is taken. <coughs> yeah, Joanna. Okay, vayamonos al 12. Karina Melissa. Okay. 
Karina Melissa, please number uh, seven. Okay. Don't forget your umbrella. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your umbrella. It's writing. Okay, okay, very good. Number between one and twenty-two. Five. Five. Uh, Caroline. Please read number uh, eight. Eight. It's raining, take your umbrella. Perfect. Number, please. Uh, eight. Number eight. Xiomara. Xiomara, read number nine. Xiomara. Xiomara, Xiomara. I'm sorry, teacher, no tenía encendido el micrófono. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Read number nine. <laughs> okay, teacher. The number nine is press, enter, and follow the instruction. Perfect. Give me a number between one and 22. Uh, 15. 15, ya pasó. Otro. 18. 18. 18. Ok, Zenaida. Zenaida. Hello. Hello, please Don't, read number eight, 10. Don't drink that is, uh, is shot with mm. cut. Scotch. Scotch. Don't drink that scotch. You're going to drive. Perfect. Very good. Number between one and twenty-two. One moment, please. Okay. Give me a number. Zenaida. Um, Any number, please. 20. 20, okay. Silvio, read number 11. Walk slowly and quickly. Okay, good. Give me a number between one and 22. Um, six. Six. Yes. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, it's 11, right? No, it's 12. Uh, 12, I see. Don't walk on the grass. Yes, good. 13, okay, now give me a number. Two. Number two is Ana Delmi. Ana Delmi. Or is Ana Delmi, Ana Delmi, Ana Delmi. She left. Okay, another number. Let's see. Okay, not number two, number three. Ah, there she is. Ana Delmi. Are you back? Can you hear me, Anadelmi? Anadelmi one, Anadelmi two, Anadelmi at three. No. Okay, Ana Marisol. Okay, teacher. Number 13. Listen to me. When I, I am talking to you. Excellent, very good. Number, what is all? Seven. Seven is Claudia Yvette, Ya Paso, Hilda Xiomara, Claudia Guadalupe. Uh, ¿Quién seguiría? ¿Quién seguiría? Jessica Rosemary. Jessica Rosemary, number 14, please. Yes, teacher. Okay. And re repeat 
after me. Repeat after me. I want to date again. Okay, good. Give me a number. Okay, number two. Number two is an Adelmi. Ya pasó. Vámonos arriba. Alejandra Vanessa. Is Alejandra Vanessa here? Yes. Here, teacher. Read number 15. 15, okay. Um, go away. Um, I'm trained to consent, concern. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Concentrate. Concentrate. Okay, number. Um, number um, seven. Ya pasó. Eight. Más, más altos, más altos. Night, ten. <laughs> ya pasaron, ya pasaron. Ten. Más altos. Eh, entonces sería, quiero ver. Mm -mm. Ah. Twenty-nine. Mucho, muy arriba. Démosle entonces. Eh, 26. No, solo somos 22. 20. <ríe> ok, 20. Silvio, ya pasó. Pasémosle entonces arriba. Silvia Zuleima. Number 16. Ok, teacher. Mm. Fear smell the butter, the butter in a saucepan and then add garlic. Perfect. Ok, vamos a ver quiénes nos faltan. Marina, Linda Stephanie. Linda Stephanie, quickly please. Ok, go straight ahead and then take the first turning. Perfect. A ver, a ver, ¿quién falta acá? Miguel Ángel, ya. Mayra. Ah, Mayra está trabajando. Olga. Yes, this is the number 19. Uh, yes. Don't speak so fast. I can't understand you. Perfect. Uh, seguimos. Um... Ah, ya, ya, ya. Carla Verónica. Yes, teacher. One moment. Yo estoy dormido. Um, number 20. Yes. Number Entonces, 20. Vamos a invitar. Don't spend so much money on wireless things. On wireless things. Perfect. Okay, people, we don't have time to continue. Any, any, any question here? Any questions so far? No, teacher. No, no teacher. teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so this is the use of imperatives, right? So we use imperatives for different purposes, but the thing is that we don't use subject and the verb is in the base form. Okay. Uh, we need to advance a little bit. Um, there is an exercise in the book, but you can do it later. About the steps of a process. Um, you can do it later. At least we're going to lesson to write. A okay, but let's take a look to the conversation between Peter and Bertha. Peter and Bertha, okay? Let me read first this conversation. Oh, let me do this here. Okay. Okay, listen. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, 
We should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. I'll read it one more time. Pay attention. Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Uh, we are going to take time to practice this conversation tomorrow. Today, I want to call your attention to these expressions, so these terms, okay? Our company should improve. We should do. We should be. And maybe we should talk, okay? So let's take a look again because we studied this in other modules. The use of should. Okay, we use should to recommend something, to give advice about something, okay? So we use should. And if you observe, we use should with the base form of the verbs. Should improve, should do, should be, should talk. So we use the verbs in the base form. Every time we use should, the verb will be in the base form, always. Okay. Let's see that in the grammar here. Oops. Should. Should is a modal verb. Okay, should is a modal verb to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Okay. And this is the structure for should. Subject plus should with the negative form, we only add not, should not, plus the verb in the base form, plus the complement. Okay, we should up Great, our system. This is the verb in the base form. They should bring new equipment. This is the verb in the base form. And the negative form, we should not continue. Should not continue. The verb in the base form. This company should broad its target. The verb broad in the base form. Okay? And remember, we use should to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Talk about what we think is right or wrong. Okay. Any question with this use of should? No question. 
No teacher. Perfect. Okay. And let's do this exercise here. Tomorrow we're going to do more to practice. But let's practice today with this one here, okay? Our products, we have the verb here. So you only have to complete the sentences using should or should not. Yeah, using should or should not. What do you think? Should. Complete. Ah, our products should be fresh. Let me type it here. Should be fresh. Definitely. Okay. Number two, this company should or shouldn't forget? Shouldn't. 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 Okay. Shouldn't forget about quality. We should or shouldn't explore. Should. 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 Correct. Should. We should explore new markets. The machinery should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. 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 Be old. Perfect. And number five, all the employees should or shouldn't? Should. Should. Should use the machinery. Very good. Let's practice the pronunciation, okay? Repeat after me. Our products should be fresh. Our products should be fresh. Yeah. Remember that in should, the L is mute, okay? Mm. The L doesn't sound. You only say should. Should. Yeah. should. Okay, good. good. Let's continue. Number two, this company shouldn't forget about quality. This company shouldn't forget about quality. Yes. We should explore new markets. We should explore new markets. But Four. The machinery shouldn't be old. The machinery shouldn't be old. And five. All the employees should use the machinery. All the employees should use the machinery. Perfect. Very good. Now, let me show you something else about should and shouldn't. Okay, here. Um, okay. Again, you see here should, shouldn't, and also uh, questions. Um, okay. Observe. We have affirmative or positive, yeah, I should, you should, he should. Yeah, and the base form of the verb. I should get up early, you should sleep seven hours, he should eat more vegetables. So all the verbs in the base form. Get up, sleep, eat. Negative, shouldn't. I shouldn't go to bed late. You shouldn't eat chocolate. He shouldn't drink coffee. And questions. Okay, how do we form questions? Well, should goes at the beginning, then the subject, and then the verb. Okay, see, should. Subject, verb, should, 
subject verb. Should subject verb. Should I go to the gym? How do we respond to these questions? It's a yes, no question. So with yes or no. Yes, you should. Okay. Short answers. Should I go to the gym? Yes, you should. Should you drink more water? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, well, I should. Okay, let me. Should he do sports? Let's respond with a negative. No, he shouldn't. Okay, so this is the form for uh, questions, okay? For questions. All right. right. Any questions so far? Teacher, el, el verbo siempre va a ir en su forma normal. Yes, always in the... Are you, he, she, we, they, en su forma yes. normal? Yes. Okay. Always in the base form. Yeah. Go, you... No, estoy leyendo de I'm una sorry. tipo que... I'm sorry. Drink. Que le llamen con el... Con el... El lenguaje inclusivo. Mm -hmm. Se me metió la pata en un video que dijo que está, estoy cansada en vez de decir estoy cansada. Uh, can you turn off your video, microphone, ¿verdad? please, if you're talking about something else? <laughs> okay. And uh, so these are yes, no questions. So if you want to make an information question, ¿verdad? Basically, si ustedes quieren hacer una pregunta de información, porque estas son de sí o no, solo se agrega la palabra de pregunta al principio de las yes, no questions, ¿no? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntar, eh, ¿dónde verdad, debería ir al gimnasio? Solo le agrego el dónde aquí al inicio, ¿verdad? Where. Where show? Where Where's... should I go to the gym? Right. 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 Okay. Um, why? For example, if you want to ask, why should I drink more water? Why? Yeah. Why should you drink more water? No. Yo quiero preguntar, ¿cuándo debería él hacer deportes? Solo le agrego aquí al inicio, when. When. ¿Verdad? Y ya tengo information questions. Ok, ya no se responden con sí o no, ¿verdad? Sino que ya tenemos que dar una, una respuesta más completa. Ok. 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 Ok, people. Well, vamos a quedarnos acá. Mañana vamos a poner otros ejercicios más para mm -hmm. practicar esto, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Very good. Let's stop sharing here. And we're going to take the last attendance. So please turn on your cameras and respond. Yeah. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana Delmi Herrera. La veo conectada, pero no me responde. 
Hola, teacher, es que se me va el internet. Ah, vaya. Vaya pues, vaya pues. Ok, Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Perfect. Ángel eh, Alexander Guardado. Present. Ok. Bueno, antes de que se me olvide, recordarles que mañana terminamos la sección 1 y mañana deben estar las tareas de la sección 1, ¿verdad? En la plataforma, ya para la medianoche, terminadas todas las tareas, ¿ok? okay. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Perfect. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Very good. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. Ya no está. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Perfect. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Great. Excellent. Karina Melisa Estrada. Present teacher. Very good. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Ya se nos fue. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present, present. Excellent. Eh, Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present. Excellent. Olga Marlene Gómez. Present, teacher. Very good. Eh, Zenaida América Domínguez. Present, teacher. Ok. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Very good. Silvio Enrique Present Cortés. Present Sí, gracias. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Perfect. And Carla Verónica Suria. Present. Very good. Ok, people, thank you for attending. Uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Ok. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Okay, Angel. Bueno, teacher. Quedamos solo los dos. <laughs> Bueno, Parece que aquí ando dando villa yo, teacher. A ver, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué, hombre? Bueno, no, lo que pasa es que yo trabajo a veces de noche, entonces hay sí, muchas clases va. que me toca estar medio, medio presencial y no es lo mismo como los que pueden estar, pues. Bueno, no es excusa, es una de tantos factores, creo. Sí, ahí tienes que sacar ventaja de los videos que están en YouTube. Y que quedan en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, la verdad es que a veces también falta dedicación o, o esmero de hacer tiempo. Sí. Ahí. Eh, bueno, sí. Entiendo, Pero aquí ¿no? estamos. Así, Trabajar de noche no es fácil. Intentándolo. No, claro, perfecto. Y en tu rubro conviene. Conviene manejar el idioma. Sí, sí. No, claro, sí es lo que me, me motiva porque me hace falta. Claro. ¿Qué quisieras que reforcemos de lo que hemos visto hasta hoy en el curso? Pues la verdad es que en la tarea que dejo que no le entendí, pues creo que era lo que, lo, lo que era, era tratar de, de, de entender toda la, la frase, la, las oraciones. En español esa era la base. ¿En la tarea? ¿Cuál tarea? En la que no le pude responder. Ahora, la de hoy. Sí, sí, la de, la de, ¿cómo se llamaba? La de, quiero verla. El imperative. 
Sí, que dejó en la, en la plataforma, que dejó en el WhatsApp. Vaya, veámoslo. No, era la, la de... Ajá, después de esa la puso, ¿verdad? Esta. Esta, correcto. Ahí me quedé sí. volando. Sí, esta no es tan complicada, ¿verdad? Ver, ver, quizá no... No, no me logré explicar, pero bien, ya te digo. No, eh, yo no la entendí, pero yo creo que los demás sí, al final no, no pude, no, no entendí cuál le iba a responder. Fíjate que estás, eh, cada oración aquí tiene el verbo que vas a usar, no, ni siquiera es de ponerlos en orden, sino que este mismo verbo que está acá es el que vas a usar. Solo que en el imperativo, ¿no? Esa es toda la complicación que se te pone acá, porque acá está eh, lo que se llama el, el infinitivo y lo tenías que poner en imperativo. El imperativo es básicamente, oh, perdón, es básicamente esto, ¿verdad? Esto, ¿no? Solo que en este caso, como es negativo, teníamos que poner don't. No, pero no estaban en orden, ¿verdad? Las respuestas, o si cada una no? era la uno, era con la uno. Sí, 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 así es. en orden. Sí. Están en orden. Ah, es el... bueno, quizás ahí andaba buscándolo en desorden y, y no era tan complicado. En ¿verdad? desorden. Estaban en, desorden en orden. Buscando yo. Están en orden. ¿Verdad? Entonces el imperativo de este es, porque como es negativo, porque aquí nos dice not to speak, es don't speak. Sí. Don't speak don't so loud. Speak. The baby is sleeping. No como hables tan fuerte. ¿Ah? ¿Verdad? No hables tan fuerte, el bebé está durmiendo. El verbo to pass, que vamos a usar aquí. Como les dije, el imperativo es el verbo en su forma básica. Pass. To pass. To step. Solo pass. Pass me the salt. ¿Ya? Sí. Y en, la, en el último tema este que dice que vamos a ver mañana, teacher, es este... Es pregunta lo del short. Ahí vimos affirmative, es... negative y questions. ¿Verdad? Veamos. No le comparto. No. Esto. Hoy hemos visto el uso de should. Should. Pero el should es como un por qué, dijo, ¿verdad? No. Should es un, lo que se llama un, un verbo que, que modifica los demás verbos. ¿Verdad? Cuando yo uso should, el verbo cambia a su forma, como te dijera, es un debería hacer tal cosa. Por ejemplo, una sí. Por ejemplo, acá el primero dice, I should get up early. Esto significa yo debería levantarme temprano. Early, temprano, sí. Should get up, debería levantar. No. Should up, debería dormir ocho horas. Debería dormir siete, siete horas. horas. Ajá. Siete horas. Él debería comer vegetales. Más vegetales. Eat more, more vegetables. Sí. Exacto. More. Esa es la función del should. Y cuando es negativo, no debería. ¿Verdad? I shouldn't go to bed late. Yo no debería ir a la cama tarde, shouldn't go to bed late no debería eso no tiene el verbo siempre va en, en presente teacher. 
Sí, el verbo siempre queda en su forma básica. Su forma Entonces, básica, en presente. Ajá. Esto se llama la forma básica. He shouldn't, he you shouldn't should. eat chocolate. No deberías comer chocolate. He shouldn't drink coffee. Ya, él no debería tomar café. ¿Cómo y esto no importa. Ah, dime. No importa, lo, digamos que puede haber una conversación y puede ir a media, a media oración. ¿Cómo así? Digamos que yo le estoy diciendo, mire, teacher, este, hoy en la mañana yo, estoy, yo estuve comiendo, digamos, una oración, por ejemplo, estuve comiendo pan, pero mm. usted... Debería mejor comer vegetales o frutas. Ajá. Claro. ¿Cómo dirías usted debería comer no. vegetales? He, he shouldn't. He shouldn't eat vegetables. Shouldn't? It's, no debería. He should, he shouldn't, dice, he should, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's a uh, vegetable. Ok, solo que ahí me está diciendo, él debería, no usted debería. Should, you shouldn't, eat vegetable. A ver, no, me lo, me lo está diciendo en negativo otra vez. No confunda should, shouldn't. You should. Should, shouldn't. Digo shouldn't. Sí. Digo decir should, sí, si digo shouldn't. You should eat vegetables. Exacto. ¿Verdad? Usted debería comer vegetales. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo dirías? Eh, yo no debería... Eh, que ver eh, mucha televisión. Ah, aquí estoy viendo otro otro ejemplo. Este, perdón, teacher. Dale, dale. Donde es pregunta, donde es pregunta, va primero el shoot que el que el que el que el ¿cómo se llama? Que el, el que el, ¿Cómo se dice? El, el yo, el he, el I, el... El sujeto. El sujeto, perdón, sí. Cuando es pregunta siempre va primero el should, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y después va el sujeto. Después va el sujeto y después el verbo. Igual que el verbo to be, ¿verdad? El mismo orden. Igual que el to be. Sí. Para preguntar va a ir primero el... el A primero el to be y después el sujeto. Y después el sujeto, igual acá, ¿verdad? Exacto. Solo eso varía cuando es pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Esto se Perfecto, invierte. Teacher. Ya me ayudó en que sea. Uh -huh. Esto el se invierte. Después. Uh -huh. Sí, yo creo que me confundí en la tarea ya hoy, después ya no la veo tan difícil. Ok, sí, sí, probablemente sí. Ok, Bien. teacher. Gracias Hola. por su tiempo. Thank you for the times. Ok, Angel. No problem. So, it's my pleasure. And you are in thank Chalatenango. You. Thank you, thank you. No, I no. live in Suchitoto, Cuscatlán. Ah, Suchitoto, es Suchitoto. Sí, yo me acordaba que era así, un lugar turístico. Suchitoto. It's departments, Cuscatlán. Yeah, it's a beautiful town. Es bonito, bonito aquí. Yeah. Y siempre sí, tienen tranquilo. los... Muy tranquilo. ¿Cómo se llama la moneda que usaban ahí? No, no, 
No funcionó. No, ya no la tienen. Se llamaba el Juice. El Juice. No, no, no se llamaba. No. Ya no recuerdo cómo se llamaba. Mupio. No, no era Juice, bueno. era algo sim era similar a eso. Era el Juice. Juice, algo así. No recuerdo, pero era impulsado por mucha. Algo así como asociaciones así izquierdistas, pero no funcionó. Ah, sí, yo recuerdo. Ok, Angel. Fondo algo ah, bueno, bueno, bueno. Eso era. Sí, bueno, sí. pues, cuídate. Un gusto, picha. Ok. Igual, feliz noche. Feliz noche. Happy night. You too. Bye, bye. Nos vemos.